lakes. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DNGS Live for another episode. Here we are with the road to the World Cup fi- the road to the World Cup final and we're almost done with our journey. We just need to get the, just need to get the title from Liverpool and become world champions. It's what we've been fighting and working for across the whole across the whole of the season. I mean Roberto Firmino, Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane have all been in red hot form, but you see those that front four there that actually those five attackers there, Paulo Dybala, Cuadrado, Costa, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lorenzo Guevara have all been in red hot form in this tournament. It's going to be interesting to see who is actually going to end up being the champions of the world. As the top scorer in the league, no surprise to see our cameras affixed to him during the warm-up. Can he add to his tally today? We'll find out soon. This is what they've been working on, looking for since day one, the final Wembley Stadium. It is filled to the rafters, completely sold out affair here tonight. 90,000 spectators capacity. This should be an interesting match. And as you can see there, the road we took to get here. Liverpool took a very, very difficult road there, beating, beating Manchester City to get to the final today. You have to be brave. You have to take the game by the scruff of the neck. Looking forward to both these sets of players making this an absolute cracker. Take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. The highly rated Brazilian Alisson begins between the posts. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joe Gomez in central defence. Jorginho Wijnaldum starts with Jordan Henderson in the centre of the pitch. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. Thank you for attending Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. almost time for us to kick off you can feel the incitement in the air the tension is tangible Lorenzo Guevara ready to get us underway and we are off it's with Dybala Quadrado Dybala, Cristiano Ronaldo, a decisive clearance it was, and the cross is very much on, Pjanic, an authoritative challenge, always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, Lee, what are you anticipating seeing from him? Well, he'll do well to beat his previous hat-trick, but the form he's in, I wouldn't put it past him. As teammates waiting inside the area. Danger averted for now. Janic, with teammates around him, continues this useful-looking attack.
Ranking at pace. Sadio Mane's cross. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Guevara. Dybala. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Well, more drama here. The referee has pointed to the spot while showing a red card as well. Well, he delicately poised this game. Has this incident tipped the balance? Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. A goal it is! A confidently taken penalty! Well, as we see it again, I can tell you his nerves will have been jangling, but he kept his nerve. Really good penalty. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. for Liverpool, coming off the pitch. Number nine, Roberto Firmino. To be replaced by... Jordan Henderson has lost possession. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And they've won possession again. Alexander Arnold. Why now, though? It was well stopped. Well, the positioning is everything for a goalkeeper, and he was in a good position then. Pjanic. Guevara. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Well cleared away. Matip now. Wijnaldum. Matip. Robertson. Wijnaldum now. It's with Fabinho. Henderson. Now the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. And providing width. Possibilities for Douglas Costa. Fabinho. And that's an important intervention. Mane. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Costa with it. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Danilo. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Pjanic. Guevara. Quadrado. trailing as they are what will be the thinking in the camp as you see it Lee well so far I give this Liverpool side six out of ten they've been the nearly team it's close a bit more aggressive in midfield get the ball into wide areas a little bit more try and stretch the opposition Alexander Arnold quick thinking to dispossess his opponents Danilo. Now Quadrado. 
The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Henderson giving the ball to the opposition that time. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. time sees Pimonte Calcio take a 1-0 lead over Liverpool. It's going to be interesting to see if Liverpool can come back and win the world title. And so the battle commences. anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Matip it's with Fabinho Milner Alexander-Arnold now Mo Salah not a particularly strong challenge Alexander-Arnold options in the centre and a half-baked clearance this might be ideal for the counter. Now Quadrado. Quadrado. Guevara. They've won back possession. Mane, not quite accurate enough. Getting forward. Mane, not quite accurate enough. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed down. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Dybala Liverpool throw in here Robertson Fabinho Naby Keita it's with Fabinho Milner now Mo Salah and we're inside the final 30 minutes. Alexandro. Excellent vision. And he might be through here. It's got to be. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go round me? He's got no chance. Well, let's have another view of that goal. It's going their way, 2-0. Now Mo Salah. And that was a very fine read. And they've won possession again. Sadio Mane now, Keita, a really sumptuous ball, and the goalkeeper, Lee, a picture of concentration. Well, he had his eye on the ball, he waited for the striker, and then he smothered it, it's really, really good goalkeeping.
So the corner played into the box. Well, body in the way. Keita. And possession lost, intercepted. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Guevara. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Not giving him a moment's peace. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Bernadeschi, and attempting the through ball. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. Federico Bernardeschi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Guevara, Bernardeschi, an inability to keep hold of the ball there, just 10 minutes to go. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Cristiano Ronaldo, magnificent challenge to win it back. Read it magnificently and intercepted. And space on the wing for Liverpool. And options in the centre. Milner! Well, a header that was frankly miles off target. Well, technically, that was um, awful. Well, the coach needs a chance to go in and go in soon. Growing frustration etched on his face. Now De Ligt. He's got space. Swift ball into the area. Can they put it away? He's having quite the game for himself. Save after save after save. Milner and the final whistle, the cup issue. This is what they've been waiting for. This is what they've been working for since day one. Very, very well done to Clemente Calcio for winning the World Cup. And very, very well done to Lorenzo Guevara for being top goal scorer in the World Cup with 10 goals. Very, very well done to him. Very astonishing win. And now we're going to, now they will be presented with the trophy to officially be crowned champions of the world. Real solidarity. Our captain there, Ezekiel Correa, the goalkeeper, the one who contributed so much to this title, is going to finally lift it. And there you have it. Juventus, Pimonte Calcio, call them whatever you like. Whatever name suits them, they are the world champions. get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken well you know exactly where i'd be sitting in that photo don't you derek <laughs> i think i've heard it before lee <laughs> straight at the front <laughs> Thank you.
as we wrap up the tournament as we like save everything and show you the stats we just have to wait for this to finish loading ding. there the top three goal scorers there is Lorenzo Espumonte Calcio's Lorenzo Guevara in first place in second is Atletico de Madrid's Jan Carrasco in second place and in third is Manchester City's Kevin De Bruyne in third in fourth sees Liverpool's Mohamed Salah go into fourth just underneath Kevin De Bruyne as you wait for the assists to lo load up, they should be on your screen now. As you can see, top assister sees Cristiano Ronaldo on six, Sadio Ma Liverpool Sadio Mane in second on six, and in third place is Atletico Madrid's Gabriel Rometty on th in third position on five, and in fourth sees An An Paris Saint Germain's and Di Maria on four assists in fifth place. Very very well done to them. They should they all deserve the stats that they. That they have achieved they've all been very very good across across the course of this tournament they all showed their talent displayed everything very it was a very interesting tournament we really enjoyed making this video we hope you leave some interesting content for us to do on the video if you enjoyed it slap a like on it enjoy yourselves don't forget to like and subscribe show your friends and bye for now